Hi, welcome back to more drawing instructions. For this segment, we're going to be drawing mandalas, and when we draw those mandalas, we're going to use symmetry and contrast. So first you need a square piece of paper. It's really easy to create one by folding the edge of an 8.5 by 11 paper so it meets the other edge, so you have a 45 degree angle. Cut off the extra, and voila, you have a square piece of paper. Go ahead and fold that piece of paper corner to corner and side to side so that you end up with eight equal triangles or eight sections. Um, there's a couple other ways to do that. Grab your 6B pencil and then draw any kind of random design that you choose. It's better if some of your design elements lead to the edge or go off the edge of that triangle, but they don't all have to. So now you have your design. We're going to transfer it to the other side. Make sure it's closed on the inside and then rub the carbon from the graphite onto the other side of the paper. At that point, retrace your design and get ready to transfer it one more time. So I went over it with the 6B pencil one time and I went over it again a second time. Now you could fold at a diagonal or you could fold it in half to transfer your design. I'm showing you how to do it so it's completely radial symmetry, um, but you wouldn't have to do that. I'll show you some other options in just a second. So you get the idea. We're going to carbon transfer, and then we're going to draw over those lines with the 6B pencil. So here's what it looks like. Fold it in half, take the whole entire design, and I can transfer it so the entire thing ends up being symmetrical. But on this one, I changed two of the triangles so that they matched in different sections, but I just made the design match up. So you can always fold it different ways. I've even had students in the past who fold the corners in as they create their designs. So just transfer it and make sure it's symmetrical. The next thing you want to do is fill in all those different shapes with values. Uh, we're going to do a graphite one and a colored pencil one. So you can notice all of the different shapes go from dark to light and then once again from light to dark. I actually ended up using all three of my pencils, 6B, HB, and my 4H and my Tortillian, I also erased in highlights where I didn't think the values were light enough. The important thing is you really focus on contrast, really get the lights and the darks as exaggerated as possible to separate the different elements of your design. That's going to make for a more successful and more interesting uh, mandala. Some people don't use a Tortillian, some people just really control their pencil work. That's fine too. This is just a chance for you to get used to your pencils and your tools and see how they work and see how you can control them and end up with a really cool artwork after you experiment with those things. The second mandala I want you to do, either the same design again or a new design, is a color mandala. So notice with the color pencils, they're wax. I'm going to layer those several times to get each independent color. This will develop my particular color palette and it will be very personalized. So I took purple and transitioned it into red and lightened that. And to make the purple separate from the color next to it, I used orange because orange is warm and purple is cool. And then I blended orange with yellow so it would transition over. And then I took a dark green and I blended that on the very edge of that shape. And I like to work shape to shape on these. That way I can monitor the contrast as I go. Sometimes if you work from different random shapes it's hard to figure out what to do next but this way it keeps it really simple so I'm gonna mix a little bit of red in on top of my orange blend that over again so it's really smooth some people use colored pencils really lightly at first and build up their layers that seems to work pretty well uh, some people just make their marks really heavy and dark so this is your chance to figure out how your marks look to separate that shape from the one next to it, I'm going to use blue because there's a lot of warm orange and blue is the complement of orange. So I'm going to do that. And another third way to get contrast is to use values or lights and darks. So you can use warm and cool colors, complementary colors, or light and dark colors. So I can change the value of the blue and blend that in. So all of these are going to make for interesting ways to create contrast. I could keep it the same throughout my mandala or I could change it as I go. The important thing is that I've established contrast throughout the entire design. So that's my design and here's some of my students designs. You can see they use warm and cool colors, 
black really holds this design together as they transition around and then this student just used values of blue so have fun as you make your way through this process